I started by cutting four lengths of 19 mm pine board at 38 mm wide so I could glue two together to make two square lengths of timber for some old roller blade wheels to mount to. These were going to make the wheel assemblies. I then cut a piece of melamine into a square which was going to be the base of the trolley where the two wheel assemblies would be mounted to one side and the boom arm assembly would mount to the underside. The mounting holes for one of the wheel assemblies were slotted. Because I haven't built my new router table yet, I thought I'd try a router bit in the pedestal drill. It sort of worked, but I wouldn't recommend it. After drilling the holes in the base plate, I transferred those holes to the lengths of timber that were going to make up the wheel assemblies. The wheels of the trolley were going to be mounted both vertically and horizontally so I needed to drill holes 90 degrees to each other. Time to put it together for a test run. So the way the trolley is adjusted on the beam is just with this one adjustment here. This set of wheels here and this set of wheels here and also these, they can be fixed in place because I only need that one point of adjustment. So if I just pull that back as far as I can, then the only adjustment I need to make is to make sure there's no gap between this wheel and the one on the other side. So if I just push that across, now one issue I do have with this at the moment is it's very lightweight. Obviously the the camera rig's not on there, but it's fairly lightweight, so it can push up and down. I didn't want to add any more wheels because there's enough wheels on there as it is so what I'm going to do is just put in some little plastic um, high density bushings in here just to act as little sliders to stop that from riding up. To add more weight to the trolley I replaced the melamine base plate with a piece of 30mm thick kitchen bench top which is much denser than regular chipboard so it was a lot heavier. I just transferred the holes from the original base plate directly to the new one. Because this board was a lot thicker, I needed to drill the underside with a Forstner bit to set the bolts into the board so that the bolts I had would be long enough. To help line up the Forstner bit, I drilled through with a pilot drill first. These bushings were cut from a plastic chopping board and is the same material I've used for runners on my table saw sleds. Time to start making the boom assembly, starting with the top mounting plate that was to get fixed to the base plate of the trolley.
The boom arm was made in two sections. The top section was two lengths of 19 by 42 mil pine batten fixed together at one end with a spacer block and at the other end that's where the bottom section of the arm was mounted which was just a single length of the same pine batten. Once the glue had set up for a little while, I drilled the holes for the bolts that would make up the swivel joints. I needed a way to attach the top of the boom to the top mounting plate that would also allow it to swivel. So I made these two pieces that were glued and screwed to the top plate with the boom arm bolted between them. As you can see, the swivel joints in the boom arm are just friction joints. The boom assembly was connected to the trolley with a single half inch bolt and tension to make that a swivel joint as well. Last thing to do was to make a simple two-way swivel bracket for the camera slash smartphone to mount to. With the new camera set up, I can now get better close-ups and camera angles like this. It's worked out quite well. I'm using it right now to film this session. It reaches just about every tool in my workshop, even the pedestal drill, which is probably the furthest away from, um, from the centre points. I suppose it was always intended to be only a positioning system and not a panning system. So. You know, it's like I'm not too concerned about the wheels rolling perfectly smooth and um, building a parallelogram sections for the arms. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly had fun building this project. But in the meantime, you guys all have a great day.